Removing apples by hand thinning is hard to do, but it's done for a beneficial reason, to increase profits. As the apple industry in Himachal Pradesh transitions to better trees on clonal rootstock and more modern growing practices, the need for accurate and timely fruit thinning increases. Crop load management should take place every spring, and when done correctly, it results in more regular cropping and more valuable fruit. In young trees, there will also be more canopy growth, faster yield accumulation and higher total yields. This is a five-year-old apple tree, and there are two methods of determining the optimum, the correct crop load, the number of apples that it should carry. The first is to use the trunk cross-sectional area, where we measure the size of the trunk. The second option is to use a thinning disc, where we can pick a representative branch on the tree, and the disc will tell us what is the right range of numbers for that individual branch. If we get the individual branches right, overall the tree is correct. We measure the trunk cross-sectional area with two tools, a pair of calipers and a calculator, often found on a cell phone. First, measure the diameter of the trunk 20 centimetres above the graft union. Record the diameter in centimetres from that measurement, find the radius, which is half of the diameter. In this example, the diameter of the trunk is 3 cm, so the radius is 1.5 cm. Then we use the formula for the area of a circle, which is pi, 3.14, times the radius squared. So we multiply 3.14 and 1.5 and 1.5 again. This equals 7 cm. So, 7 cm is the trunk cross-sectional area. The next step is to apply a factor for crop load. 6 fruit per TCA is standard. Multiply the factor of 6 and the TCA, in this case 7, to get how many apples the tree should carry. In our example, 7 times 6 equals 42, the number of desired apples for this tree. Repeat this with several trees in the orchard to get a good idea of the range of numbers we're looking for. Here's another example. So this tree was five and a half centimetres diameter and our calculation gives us a trunk cross-sectional area of 20 square centimetres times six, our factor, is 120 fruit on this relatively small five-year-old apple tree. With younger trees, it's also important to use the TCA method. If you don't manage their crop load, young trees won't grow and fill the canopy, and will produce small apples. If the trees are thinned correctly, then they can put their resources into growing the canopy. A thinning disc enables us to consider the number of fruit per branch, branch cross-sectional area being an abbreviation for BCA. And this disc has been developed for Red Delicious in Himachal and has fruit in the range of three to four fruit per BCA. It requires more validation, but we think it should be helpful to produce high quality fruit in Himachal. We simply place the disc to the, the best size that fits the branch, about five centimetres from the trunk, and it tells us that we want between 15 and 20 fruit on this branch to achieve good fruit quality and return bloom and regular cropping. To thin this tree, I'm going to start by thinning every cluster to a maximum of two apples and to space them 10 centimetres apart. I'll then check that that is giving us the numbers we're looking for and if it does, we can be confident to thin the whole tree, the whole orchard, in this way. For mature trees, calculating the crop load can often be more difficult. Here we have 20-year-old Red Chief Red Delicious on MM106 rootstock, planted at 4.5 metre row width and 2 metre spacing, giving us 1,100 trees per hectare. We can use historical data that tells us we can produce here in New Zealand 60 tonnes a hectare 
and that equates to about 400 to 450 apples a tree that will be good size and, and good coloration. My estimate is that we want to use a combination of one and two fruit per cluster, singles and doubles, spaced to give us that 400 to 450 fruit per tree. What we should do is test thin some trees and then count the fruit numbers to see if our method is delivering the target. This is a general best practice guide for thinning and crop load management. However, it is necessary to keep in mind that crop load management requirements will vary depending on variety, altitude and the age of the trees.